Okay. Hi. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, something big's happened. Hi guys, it's Jamie. You might have guessed from the title of this video that I have had bottom surgery. It was something that I was never sure how to share online or how to talk about. So because the date was kind of sprung on me at short notice, I only had like six days to prepare. I decided not to share about it beforehand and just to make an after video where I could think about exactly how I wanted to document it and how I wanted to talk about it. I'm not gonna go into a huge amount of detail on what I've had done. Apart from that, I went for a type of bottom surgery called petoideoplasty and I had a simple release and creation of a scrotum where I will have a second stage to put testicular implants in and that'll pretty much be it done. My motivation was just to work with what I've got and make the most of what's already there, basically. So, as you're about to see, things didn't go exactly to plan with my surgery. I decided to vlog the whole experience in the hospital and everything and make regular updates and things went a bit wrong. It's probably been the scariest and most painful 10 days of my life. There were a couple incredibly scary moments, very, very painful moments, and instead of having one surgery, I actually had two. So I had my initial surgery on Saturday 13th. I arrived at the hospital on the Friday and I was supposed to go home on the Monday, but due to a complication, which you guys are gonna find out because I talk all about it in the little clips you're gonna see in a minute, I, was in until Thursday. Uh, so instead of three nights, Sharp and I spent six nights in the hospital and I had two surgeries, <laughs> three cannulas, four blood tests, <laughs> two drains, um, yeah. But I've been home for about three days now and I'm feeling better and I'm in less pain every day, which is fantastic. I definitely feel like I'm improving and I'm on the right track now. I'm not gonna bore you and talk too long here, so cue vlogs. I did a couple before surgery and then I vlogged the whole experience up until today where I am nine days post the original surgery and six days post the second surgery. So enjoy. Uh. So today is Monday and last Friday just before like five o'clock I got a phone call and I was offered a date for first stage of lower surgery and I took it and <laughs> It's in five days, it's on the 13th of January, and my head is just going a million miles an hour just thinking about everything. I'm this massive bag of like excited and scared and nervous, and every time I think about it, I get a little bit terrified and feel a bit sick. I really wanna get it done. This is the right thing for me to do, but oh my God, top surgery just terrified me for life of having surgery. So whenever I think about like actually going to London, staying in hospital for three nights, the recovery process, all of that stuff, I start to feel like I'm full on just gonna panic about it. But when I think about past that, you know, like two months post-op, that's when I get excited. So I'm just trying to hold that image in my head and push through the scariness because if I let the scary take over, I'm never gonna get this done and it's something I really wanna get done and delaying it isn't gonna make it any better. So I'm doing it. Bye, 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 bye. Ooh. Okay, so I... <laughs> I'm really nervous. So today, is the day before surgery, but I'm going down to London tonight with Shaba and being admitted at six o'clock, and then it will happen at some point tomorrow. <sighs> Ooh, I am really nervous about it. Oh man. So yeah, it's tomorrow. There's... <laughs> but I will keep you guys updated and oh, oh, wish me luck. I've arrived at the hospital. My nerves are increasing <laughs> as the time goes on. Shabba's here with me. <laughs> you want something else, Mr. Rings? I just showered in Cherry Aid, hippie scrub. Probably the most unusual shower I've ever had in my life. I'm in the gown now though, so it's all feeling very real. <laughs> I'm trying not to get freaked out. Shabba. I'm going in for tennis. I'm second on the list. I will update you when I'm awake enough. Hello, got out of the surgery. How long ago? Like, hours now. About four hours now. Doing okay, better than I did last time I had surgery. Like, I didn't have the shakes. I've been a bit sick, so they just gave me some stuff for it, but now I feel all like 
Mm. Apparently it all went to plan. Hopefully we go home tomorrow instead of Monday, which I'm excited about. I'm going to go to sleep. So, this is Jamie. Hi. He's been in his bed for a little while. We've got little Tommy Dangle there. There's a very fetching uh, a drain going in there with fluids, which is going to be taken out tomorrow. A very lovely catheter mm. that is right there. Sorry if that's a big room. <laughs> I'm so happy it's done. The tip of my tongue is numb there. Let's see it. I'm so happy it's done. I'm, I'm in a little bit of pain, but nothing unbearable. I think we're gonna leave it there. Bye. Hi guys, it's Sunday morning. I'm not entirely sure how much Jamie's vlogged. He's asleep at the moment, so I thought I'd do something on his behalf. There's been a few changes. We were initially told that he would stay until Monday. Then we were told after the surgery that he would go home today. Last night took a bit of a turn that Jamie has a hematoma, which is basically um, a large collection of blood gathering between the tissues. And they've called the surgeon back. Unfortunately, the surgeon's traveling, but he's sending his associate over, which is who we are waiting to see. In the meantime, Jamie's been a little bit up and down. He's felt quite faint. He's also puked numerous times, and he's now nil by mouth again, just in case he needs to go back into surgery. So it's a waiting game. Poor Jamie only had about three hours of sleep last night. He seems to be resting well now. Here's my little man. Chabra's peeing. He can hear a weird noise. The surgery went well. There was a slight issue with a hematoma afterwards that happened last night and it was a bit touch and go today as to whether I'd need to go and have another operation to get rid of it. But I didn't because one of the surgeons came through and like removed some stitches and then squeezed out the blood clot. Probably one of the most painful things I've ever experienced, but I've felt a lot more comfortable since that happened. I am just desperate to go home, really. My hair is greasy, my face is greasy. I have a weird thing on my tongue. I got like an ulcer on my tongue. Not been the best day. And instead of going home tomorrow, Monday, I am staying until Tuesday now, just to monitor the hematoma situation. It's uncomfortable, painful, a lot harder than top surgery, but it's all good, it's gonna be worth it. And I have my favorite little munchkin with me. Hi. He makes it all better. It is Monday afternoon. I was in a bit of pain, so I had some morphine, like oral morphine this morning, and that knocked me right out for a good few hours, which is nice. They're still having to like repack the dressings twice a day where the hematoma was expelled. Um, not the most pleasant thing in the world. I am really desperate to go home and I found out today I'll be getting the catheter out on Monday 22nd in Harley Street in London. On the right track, I'll keep you updated. I'm gassy. It is Monday night, 10 to 9. I'm feeling a lot better, like a lot better. I've got fresh dressings on. I am using the Flip Flow catheter. I've eaten the most I've eaten so far in one meal. Sharp help me a little bit with this. I didn't eat all of it. Yesterday was horrific. To be honest it was painful i really wanted to go home i was almost feeling like i regretted putting myself through this but today i'm a lot more positive i've pooped three times the amount of people that have seen my butthole and just everything down there i'm finding it a bit weird i know it's their job and they're used to it but i still find it weird you're just so chill though whenever they come you just like sprawled out like yeah it's my dick <laughs> Surgeon is coming to check on me tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed I'm ready to go home, for both of our sakes. Am I going out on tired? Double gown so I don't flash people. <laughs> Hat, because the hair is just, no, no. Catheter, but no one would know. Yay for P-valves. <laughs> Yay for waddling. I have seen certain aspects of what's happened down below, um, but I've not seen all of it. So I just asked Shaba, who has seen the full glory pretty much, what does like the scrotum look like? What did you say? No, it's mean. Shaba. It's truth. Shaba says it's mean but true. My ball sack looks like a baboon butt. You know, like Rafiki. Just a bit red and small. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I'm still here. It's Tuesday. 
I'm still here, and I'm going to be here till tomorrow. One more night in. Cannula is out though, thank god. That was really irritating me. But yeah, today one of the surgeons came by to check on what was going on, and squeezed out the last of the hematoma. Wow, the pain, the pain, the pain. <laughs> Let's just not talk about it, it's painful. The surgeon who saw me the other day and did the first squeeze, he's seeing me tomorrow morning to just check that everything's okay, let me know what's happening, and then I'll get to go home, as long as nothing flares up overnight. I was kind of questioning, why have I put myself through this? This is horrible, this is painful. And it is, but it's worth it, because it's what I want, and it kind of closes this chapter. It's the beginning of the close of the physical side of my transition, which is very nice. We're getting there. It's all good. I'm going to be fine. So, it is... My phone's falling. Hold on. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I didn't film anything else yesterday because yesterday went a bit bad. After the squeezing, <laughs> I did feel better. And then I went to go to the toilet and suddenly the right side just started swelling up again really bad. It was incredibly painful. So I had a lot of morphine <laughs> and they had to put like, cannula on again because I wouldn't stop bleeding. Blood was spurting out. It was not pretty. So what that meant is I had to go back in for surgery to close up what was going on and have a look and see why there were being so many issues. I was nil by mouth from 11am. I went in for surgery again at 7. And yeah, recovery was fine. I think okay, I... You're like completely underplaying it. Let me join in. Okay, Shaba's gonna join in because I'm, I'm just too sleepy. You can you explain. Basically, as well as the hematoma, there was an internal bleed, which was just causing more than the hematoma um, and the extra, well, swelling and pressure and all sorts, which is why you're in so much pain. And the doctor said um, that they're gonna take you down for exploratory surgery. So they reopened every single wound to try and find the location of the internal bleed. And scarily, they said that if they weren't able to sort it out there, which they might not have done, if it was an internal bleed that they weren't equipped to deal with because it's a small private hospital, then um, they would have to ambulance Jamie away to an A&E department. Thank duck that didn't happen. But yes, two and a half hours later, Jamie's back up now. It was super late, so the surgeon didn't come up to actually explain what's happened. We still have no idea what he did to your little body. Got toast crumbed on my gown. Jamie had breakfast this morning. You've not thrown up yet as well? Yeah, yeah I've had anaesthetic. Well, I don't know what that is. That's I think I might have from, from downstairs. Yesterday, yeah. yeah. But it's great news that there's no swelling just now. Mm -hmm. It's great news that you're still here, which means you didn't have to go to the emergency area, mm -hmm. which means they've fixed it, which is not entirely sure how. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll find out soon with the surgeon. I had two cannulas. And two surgeries. I was just saying to Jamie, there's a chart outside that says of the 10,000... 300 patients they've had in most recently in this one period of time only two have had to go back for unplanned theatre surgery you are the third i'm exhausted but i'm happy to not be in so much pain anymore so they're monitoring mm -hmm. at least for today and then hopefully you will be discharged tomorrow. tomorrow sorry i just wanted to explain it properly because you were like oh there was something it was fixed sorry, no it was I'm a big tired. deal and you're amazingly brave so Go you. Shut up. Do you vlog? Thanks for listening to this update. I'll make another one, but for now I'm gonna go sleep. So, so I've been up to pee twice. Felt a bit dizzy both times, but I just had a walk down the corridor and didn't feel dizzy. Just feel generally shattered, which is to be expected. My body has gone through a fair amount the past few days. Still got cannula. But the other ones are out now. I'm all stitched up again. The surgeon's really confident that everything's going to be fine now. And he cleared up what the problem was, which was a open artery that was just bleeding, like spurting. Oh, so painful. So pressured. Oh my god. I'm really glad it's done now. I'm so relieved that everything seems to be on the up again and it's going well. I'll keep you updated. <sighs> I'm just leaving the hat off. Sharp as not though. <laughs> I... I'm feeling better all the time. I went on my longest walk. We went on a fairly long walk yeah. up and down the corridor Two more than laps. once. Yeah, we Two did. Two laps. Two laps of the corridor. Um, I've had some food. I had some hospital food and then I had some lovely food thanks to Shaba's mum. So thank you very much. And also some chocolate. Also thanks to Shaba's mum. Thank you very much again. Still got the cannula. Look how many pills I have to swallow. 
Today is hopefully discharge day and it's also cannula free day. No cannulas. Yes. And this bad boy drain is coming out very, very soon. I just had the drain out. I'm really glad the drain's out, but oh my god, there was so much in there, Shaba, how much was in there? Easily inside was like, at, at least that, at least that. It must have been cool, I just I have no idea. And I felt it. Oh. Even the nurse wasn't expecting it to be that long. No, she was surprised by how much was in there, and oh, that stung, and I could still feel it, I can still feel it, but it's out. It's out, but it was deep. But it's all good. Here for a couple more hours just to make sure that like no collection of blood happens again. Gonna take a walk around and try and poop. I have a t-shirt on. I have a t-shirt on. I'm wearing something that is an hospital attire. Yay. We're going home. 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 I'm so happy. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I six days. It was supposed to be here for three and then we thought it might only be two and it's been six. That doesn't matter because we're going home now. Thank you. Oh my god. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. I'm dressed. Everybody here has been fantastic. The doctors, the nurses, the catering staff, just literally everybody has been amazing at this hospital and I felt very well looked after. It's been a journey and I will do like a proper little thing talking about it a bit more coherently when we get home but we're going home. Home in spag bowl, food at home, bed. Oh, yes, okay. We're in the car. My genitals hurt, but we're in the car. Send love to Shaba, she's doing fantastic. I'm home, in bed. My hair has been washed. The TV is set up over there for a friend's marathon. I'm in bed, I'm comfy. The love of my life is in the doorway. <laughs> I'm so happy to be home. Oh my god. Pain is minimal. It's uncomfortable. A catheter isn't comfortable to sit with, but it's manageable. The bruising is spectacular. Like, I am yellow, green, brown, purple, black. Like, every colour is going on down there. It's ridiculous. Essentially, six nights in hospital instead of three. Four blood tests from the same vein. Three cannulas. Two surgeries. Two hematoma squeezes. Two drains. And a catheter. All of that later, and we are home. We did it. I could cry. I'm so happy that we're home and that it's the worst part is over and I just need to heal and get back on my feet fully and oh my god I can't believe that happened it feels so overwhelming I'm really glad it's over it wasn't the surgery it was a hematoma no yeah it was the hematoma don't, just don't feel don't feel guilty Thank you for joining me on this journey. I will keep you updated of the healing process. And when you guys watch this, it's all going to be like a 10 minute thing that just happens really quickly. But for me, this has been really, really tough week. And for you as well. Stop it, just for you. For both of us, it's been a really tough week. But I know it will be worth it. In a bit of pain, I need the painkillers. Very tired. Shava's had a nap and is still exhausted. Send so much love her way, guys. I couldn't have gotten through this past week without you. Shava slept on the floor with just duvets and stuff for six nights just to be with me. She's been amazing, beyond amazing. Just had my first at home dressing change. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I had to wake poor Shabra up to do it because I went for a pee and I realized that everything had just slipped off. There was no dressing over it anymore and it was like directly on the pants, which was a bit uncomfortable, but I'm all wee padded in a bit of pain because there was a bit of moving around and stuff, but it's still looking good. The swelling is still down. I'm super paranoid that something's gonna happen again though. I'm really sure it won't, but like when something goes wrong, there's just like this massive fear that something else is gonna go wrong. And it went wrong like twice in the hospital. So yeah, just really hoping it's all on track now. I also got my first actual look at what's going on down there. I'm happy. I'm very happy. First night back at home and it was the best sleep that both of us have gotten in a week. I feel useless. It's really annoying just physically. I can't even like bend over and sort out my socks or cover my feet over with the blanket and stuff. It's really weird. The most annoying thing right now is the mobility and also the flip flow catheter. Whenever I have to pee, it just takes ages because it's this little trickle that just comes out so slowly. But I'm actually glad for the catheter now because sitting on the toilet is very uncomfortable so I couldn't imagine having to do that like five or six times a day so I'm glad that it's still in comes out a week today I do feel more mobile today than I did yesterday I feel less tight I feel less sore I think because it was all very stressful and other stuff happened it's not quite hit me yet 
what's happened. Like the fact that I have actually had first stage lower. Stuff looks very different down there. I can't believe it's happened. And I'm just really glad to be home and over the past week has been tough. I'm downstairs for the first time since we got home yesterday. I have been getting up and out of bed like for little walks around the bedroom and the landing and going to the toilet and stuff but it's nice to be downstairs. I do feel a lot more mobile today. I feel very heavy, very tight down there, still a bit sore. Feeling a lot better than I have been. I don't like this whole lack of mobility thing. I feel very lazy, very useless but it'll only last like a week or something and then it'll be all good and it'll be so worth it. I'm on the sofa. I'm sitting somewhere that's not a bed. A miracle is occurring. Sorry? Shabra is hoovering. <laughs> You're pretty. Saturday morning, which marks one week since the original surgery, but the bruising, like not even where the incisions are, but the bruising where I had the hematoma on both sides is intense. Oh my god, it's so painful. I'm still walking around like I shat myself. He's just constantly sleeping. Oh, the bruising is so painful still. And also, just pooping is the most awkward thing. Like, I thought pooping after top surgery was horrendously awkward and difficult but this time it's like that that is the area essentially and sitting on the toilet is difficult and i can feel the dressings move and there's pressure on the bruising and oh just nah i've gone a couple of times since we got home can't laugh or anything i need to get back in bed this is so painful still got like an hour and a half until i can take more painkillers Feeling a bit more mobile this evening, so I've just washed my hair in the sink and dinner's ready. It's been alright, I've been very sleepy today, I was in pain earlier but the pain has gone down now which is great. Bruising doesn't feel quite as bad. Look at how cute he is. And the human's not too bad either. <laughs> Polo has migrated. We found a compromise where he can lie on me. <laughs> so it's Sunday today, I'm feeling in less pain today than I was yesterday. Bruising seems to be going down a bit. I even went downstairs and heated my own lunch and carried it back up, which was very nice. Felt a little bit independent for a minute then. The whole thing's just very tedious. It's very boring. I feel useless. I want to eat my dinner sitting up properly, but I can't because it hurts and the catheter's in the way. I'm just getting frustrated and bored with this whole recovery thing. It's going to be worth it, but oh my god, right now it's just like... Oh. Probably what, your sixth time going down the stairs now? Yeah, my first time wearing clothes, so. Yeah, sixth or seventh time going down in total. Look at that improvement. You're now slightly faster than a snail. Hello, it is Monday, fast approaching one week since I had the second surgery and I am feeling a lot better. I woke up today with like quite a lot of bruising pain but that seems to have subdued a bit as the day's gone on. I'm just heading downstairs to get the post which feels very normal. My parents came over yesterday for a bit and brought us dinner which was really nice, it was lovely to see them and I sat downstairs for quite a long time and I walked around downstairs. It did leave me in a bit of pain and like very tired afterwards but it was really nice. Still improving, I still feel like I've got a long way to go, like mostly the incisions don't really bother me, the cav- the catheter? The catheter is irritating but not bad, it's mostly annoying how slowly it empties. It's just this bruising, like the pain from the bruising where like the hematoma was. Every day I'm feeling a bit better, I'm getting a bit more mobile, I'm gonna go over to my parents and have a shower tomorrow which I'm really excited about. I just realised quite a major flaw in my plan to get the post, I can't bend down that far to pick it up. I'm gonna get some food instead to make this not a wasted trip. Ah, so I have had my hair washed by the beautiful Shava as well as my armpits and my upper body. Fresh t-shirt, I shaved but I trimmed my beard. Brushed my teeth, I've styled my hair like I blue dry, blow, blow, I, 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 I blue drew it. I dried it with a hairdryer for the first time in like 10 days. I feel exhausted but refreshed and more like myself. Still 
just in the pants though. Trousers are a bit uncomfortable. Please. Coming down so you better Look. get the meeples cooking. I don't need to know like one, one going one at a time, but and I'm dressed, I have shorts on. I feel way more normal today, like way more normal. So this is gonna be my last little vlog entry for this video. I will be doing more updates as like healing goes on and when I get the catheter out and stuff, not, not up close updates when the catheter comes out, I will just tell you about it. But I'm feeling a lot more myself this evening. I'm really starting to feel like it's sinking in that I've had lower surgery, with the first stage lower surgery, and I'm feeling really grateful and happy for that. And I'm just looking forward to healing fully and being able to be properly excited about it and yeah, thanks for joining me this 10 days for the end. I don't know how to end this. Ah. So yeah, not the best 10 days of my life. Yeah, so I had a hematoma that had to be gotten rid of, but it came back. And I had a artery that was bleeding, very painful. So I had to go back in for second surgery to cut that off, but that was all done. I'm all sewn back up, healing well. It's going okay. I am getting my catheter out in four days. I'm very excited about that. But what I really need to say is the biggest thank you ever to my amazing fiance, Shabba. Like I couldn't have gone through the past 10 days without her. She slept on the floor and in chairs in a hospital room with me for six nights. And I can't thank her enough for all the love and the support and just being there with me. And thank you to my parents and Shaba's mum as well for coming to visit me too. It made everything a lot easier and kept me grounded and a little bit less scared. I don't want this to put people off having surgery. Surgery is surgery, stuff goes wrong. You never know what's gonna happen. I didn't think about some of the other risks that could happen and unfortunately, I experienced one of them. But it's all good, it's okay, I got through it. I will make a video around one month post-op to update you guys on how everything is going and how it was to get the catheter out and stuff, so keep tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time guys. Much love, bye! Oh, this is gonna take a minute. <laughs> Beautiful hospital pants. <laughs>